Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy Tactics A2 on the DS. We're uh, rip roaring through Ivalice, killing everything in sight, leveling up, and our next objective is to take out Vaughn from Final Fantasy XII and Pinello because uh, they've been stirring up some trouble and we're not having it. We're not having it. Although it probably wasn't that. I'm sure they were framed. But we'll get to the bottom of it. And I did look it up again. It is Ivalice. I probably, some part of my brain remembered that. That's why I said it last time. It's a, it's a name. Vaughn and Pinello. Found you at last. You want a medal? Yeah, I want your head, lad. That business with the barons made your bounty all the more bountiful. I'd say we didn't do it, but something tells me you and Reason aren't on speaking terms. You really didn't do it? You again? You're a headhunter. Hunt elsewhere. These heads are mine. Dead or alive, they're leaving with me. That's a uh, nice Robocop. Oh, I'm not here to get in your way. But listen to what they're saying for a second. What if they really didn't do it? Eh, I don't care if they killed a hundred souls or none. It's not my concern. I'll have that head pray. Sid, let's help those two out or we'll never get to hear their story. My thoughts exactly. If it turns out they're assassins after all, well, we'll turn them in ourselves. Hear that, boys? They're in cahoots. Take them all down. You sure? Thought you headhunters stuck together. It's really not my type, but hey, if you want to go with old pig snout, be my guest. I'm not find us such easy prey, right, Pinello? Famous last words, Vaughn. Here they come. Defeat all foes while defending the Skyfire. Well, great. Each unit must move exactly one tile before ending its turn. Yeah, so I have to defend these two all the way up on top of the mountain, surrounded by enemies. Uh, and I'm going to move one tile. Yeah, I think this is one where I'm not going to follow the law. My apologies. Five units? Eh, okay. Well, we always have Aura Blast. Can always Aura Blast. God, her jump is shit. She has a jump of two? Of two, Adele? That's atrocious. Oh no, I broke the rules. Although, funny, I broke the rules by not moving instead of moving more than one tile. Man, steal a few trinkets and they call you a murderer. So you didn't do it? I can trust you? All I can say is, we didn't do it. Trusting Vaughn or not is an entirely different matter. Right. Hey. Well, you sure don't act like a sass. Think? Shadow stock. How is that different than just attacking him?
Here, I'll show you how to attack somebody. This is how it's 100 points. <sighs> okay, hold on. Maybe we can do better. Well, it's not great. I doubt I'm going to do better than that with a different attack. Some ball tossing. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I mean, just wait till he can do a wheel. As a ninja, it's gonna be wild. Uh oh. I hope you get out of there. Okay. That's. Yeah, but. Mm, okay, that's not good. Okay, she got another turn. Get the fuck. Okay. That's livable. They hit really hard, though. All right, don't worry, Thyran's here, and he is going to wait. Damn it, man, you couldn't even KO. Hit him with a little bit of aura blast. She lets out some incredible roar. You wait. Yeah, I guess that's good. I'd rather you evade than. Do some fancy attack nonsense. One oh two ninety seven. Whatever. Problem is, Nello's pretty exposed. But I think this prevents anyone from getting in there. Stupid. Hit Slimer so we can do some withering strikes. All right, Thyron's up. Here we go now. A little bit of Tempest. Tempest. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Good. Yeah. Get countered. You will die. No. Just aura blasting from the bottom of the mountain. Finish him off. 
Or blast is just nice. It's just nice. That's obnoxious. No one's asking you to heal. Mirror Echo. What the nonsense are you doing? Oh, what? That's bad. Made me miss an aura blast. Now, what are you gonna do that's so exciting? Can you throw something? No, you can do nothing. Mm. I think I have to just sit here. Alright, but what? What if I use ball toss? On this guy. Throw that ball. Yeah. Work. Damage adds up. Ow. Didn't he already put... Oh, I think it's ranged. So you really have no idea where he's putting it. That's why she got hit there. He could have put it right there. He didn't. Imagine if he did, though. Wait. Or a blast. Or a Thundara. 70 is probably going to beat it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't kill him, so it really doesn't matter. There you go. Get a little magic in there. We don't have to hear the roar every time. All right, cross counter. Here we go. Uh oh, he's hasted. Kill him. Throw a Molotov cocktail. Oh, 50. 54 to 56. Mm, I could throw a weapon. I could throw a silver bow at his ass. Nope, but that's pretty close. Okay, maybe I I don't use bows. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it it worked. All right, Vaughn, you, you got this. Shadow stalk his four HP. Got him. That was a bigger bonk. Thyran with KO. Job done. You two all right? We're fine, thanks to your help. 
Yeah, thanks. They were tougher than they looked. If you say so. Hey, thanks again. It's nice to know you're grateful, but I'd rather know what happened to the Baron. Assuming, of course, you truly were not involved. Oh, we were involved. Except, we weren't trying to kill him. We were trying to save him. By the time we arrived at the manse, the attack had already taken place. He'd been cut and poisoned, too, from the looks of it. The Baron's nails were blue. Blue nails, you don't say. We did what we could for him and tried to get out of there before anyone caught us. No such luck. They took our tr they take our treasure and call us assassins to boot. Simple shiv in the ribs, be kinder. What are you going to do now? Well, not much else to do but lay low for a while, I suppose. Once the Baron's mended, it will be clear that it wasn't us. That's right. I hope they find the ones who did it soon. That makes two of us. Well, Vaughn, time to leave? Hey, we owe you one. We Sky Pirates may steal, but we pay our debts. Thanks, I'll remember that. No, I believe them. I really don't think they did it. Of course, that doesn't tell us whether Kamjo is behind it or not. Hey, the stench of Kamjo is all over it. Huh? I'm going to Graston. Huh? Sid, what are you... Sid! I hate it when he does that. Yeah, so that's what that sound is. It's your, the journal up there that I never show. <sighs> okay, we got some Storm Soul Crystals, some Gem Steel. We mastered some abilities, probably some thieving abilities. I don't know if he's ready to be a ninja just yet, but we'll check. He's not ready. Close, but not ready. Uh, okay. Do you have any other... All right, so be it. And you, you mastered Thundara, so now you can do Blizzara. And finally, Tyra. Real exciting shit. Safe in case the game crashes. I mean, it's happened. It has happened during this playthrough while I was grinding. It was really obnoxious. Will you just tell me what's going on with Kamja and this Baron guy? There's something I need to make sure of first. Where are you going now? What does it matter? Back to that street here? I could join you. Don't. Where I go and what I do are my business, boy. I see little need to clear my comings goings with you. Hey, don't forget, last time you were here, you almost died. You left without saying anything that time, too. You really think I'm gonna let you do that again? I said leave me be, boy. Hey, why am I suddenly some boy when it's convenient for you? Something isn't eating you lately and I wanna know what it is. Friends shouldn't keep too many secrets. Planners less. You're one to talk. Quite. I'm sorry. That was wrong of me. Koopo, the barman's got something for us. Says there's a bill up that specifically requests our clan, Koopo. Also, this came along with the request. Hey. This looks just like that magicite. Color is a bit faded, but it has to be the same. So the stolen magicite has come back into our possession? Right now, of all times? Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. 
Sid. Going out for some fresh air. Cooler head prevails, they say. Uh, how annoying can that guy get? Have a little patience now. Sometimes the best way through a fortress isn't the front gate. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, not everyone is as open as you are. Think on it a moment. Sid is powerful, yes? Yet he employs a judge. He's not that powerful. Don't you think there might be a reason? What kind of reason? I know it's not easy, but try using your head. By pledging to uphold a judge's laws, you avoid true death in battle. But if you're strong enough to win anyway, the merit of having a judge is lessened. That's right. With the judge around, you have to follow all those laws, Kubo. No, you don't. Most hunters, well, they're too busy holding up each other to uphold the law. Some are of a mind that those with judges are mere cowards, afraid to fight. Does this strike you as a fitting description of our Sid? Hardly. He's not the type to want anything to do with the judges normally. Normally? So Sid has some special reason then. Oh, at least one. Probably several. No simple man, that one. Not that I'm losing any sleep over it, mind you. Well, I'll put aside that bill for the clan, Koopa. There was no date they wanted it done by, Koopa, so you can pick it up whenever you fancy. That date is today. But first, the shop. I want to take a look. What do we got? What do we got? We got sundry sabers. I always like swords, so... Harp, harpy, harp, fuck. Okay, that was a bust. Uh, soup-stained shield, cello, power within. Well, let's make this. Yes. Judas, ju judicers, Judas. Unscarred for Master Monk. Well, I think we'll be buying that. And that's it. Okay. Bidding room. What you got? What you got? What you got? Raises attack, defense, magic, and resistance when the user has full HP. Well, you can't go wrong with that. That's just nice. But don't forget, we have to equip that ability. Instead of shield bearer, I think I'll be okay with that. I mean, having the shield is always nice, but he's a master monk. You don't need no shield. For Clan Explorers, a request. I must speak with you. I wait in the ruins of Delgantua. P.S. I trust you enjoyed my gift. But yeah, this doesn't seem shady at all. <sighs> what the... All right. thousand gil. Here you go. <laughs> Pay five thousand gil just to avoid a fight. Oh, and I get... What? I get three thousand gil and thirty ability points? So basically, I paid two thousand gil for a dark stone, thirty ability points, and some clan points. If I could just do that over and over and over, it'd be amazing. Wow, what the fuck? What are you rocking? Oh, are you? 
Oh my gosh. Okay. I think he's done with the juggler for now. So let's switch him over to the Moogle Knight. Let's give him, uh, not items. Let's give him now these acrobatics because he's got them. Sticky fingers. Okay, it's like never going to come up, but sure, you can have that. Um, and we need Google 8. What does that do? Store HP and purge debuffs. It's not bad. It's not bad. Probably is gonna be what I yeah okay fine that's fine okay that's pretty good armor uh, you what did you you did right yes yeah, spell blade stuff I could get Oil Blade, which is really lame. Or I could just keep you where you are. <sighs> I really don't know what to do with her. Uh, honestly, she should just be going back to Red Mage and getting some more Red Mage stuff. She doesn't know enough spells. I guess blade arts, but I don't even know if you could use it. What do you got? I already learned cure. I'm gonna have to go back to a store. Definitely gonna have to go back to a store. Oh no, you can learn thunder. Alright, it's something. Now my question was if he could become... No, he can't. So I'm actually going to have to look up like what passive ability new moves can get to help with MP. I'm sure there's something. I just have to look it up. Not running away today, are we, Sid? It's her. Sad to see your memory fail at such a youthful age. I've never run in my life, Ilua. Sid, is she? Kamja, yes. One of their number. Ilua, I have two questions in need of answers. Do tell. You did for Baron Beltry. Whatever makes you think that? Well, I was pondering the Baron's peculiar fondness for painting his nails blue, when I recalled a curious side effect of that poison of yours, Lazulum. And your next accusation? Excuse me, question? The White Silver Magicite. What is it? Catalyst, I needed to work certain magics. The palings protecting the Baron were not easily broken, you see. Had those Sky Pirates not arrived on the scene, the lucky old coot. Yet I believe His Grace understood our message. I fain think he'll move against Kamja without second thoughts. The Baron is an intelligent man. Would I could say the same for you. Hmm. I'm afraid the only cure for my brand of idiocy is steel, my dear. Then I suppose I'll have to kill you. Again. Oh, and Lady Hunter, don't expect any favors once the fight begins. Leave now. She'll let you go. What? You want me to leave you here? Not a chance. This is my fight, too. Then you're an idiot as well. So either we win here, or I'm cured, right? <laughs> Just be careful. Good? I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, 
Sid won't be fine if he stays in this fight. He'd be right fucked. <laughs> Having Giller items stolen is forbidden. What sort of fucking law is that? <laughs> what the fuck? So it's not, it's not illegal to steal. No, it is illegal for something to be stolen from you. Oh my gosh, that's like... Play a D&D &D campaign where that's the law. Holy shit. All right. We got Slimer. Big bad boy Slimer. Okay. It's not an optimal party setup, I think, but we've got the levels. Fight with no stakes is hardly worth fighting, don't you agree? Okay. Isn't death the stakes? You've lost protection of your judge. Okay, so you just nipped that whole law thing in the bud. And that's good. I didn't want to have to worry about not getting something stolen from me. Okay. So we can do... Google Lance. Google Aid. We can do some... Some of this. I mean, if I could put a stop on a dude... It's pretty good. Or I could do 51 points of damage. Stop is pretty unlikely. I'm talking like 40%. about confuse 40 percent probably better off just hitting something all right just just smack them what's the worst that could happen oh damn it's rocking that dual wheel There we go. Good, good, good. Good start, good start. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't think he's going to be dual wielding too much. Oh, okay, good. If I can sit here... Oh, no, that still won't work. Okay, but I think that's... Mm, who do I want to... Mm, I mean, really, who you want to haste is Slimer. He's my big bad boy. So I guess we'll do that. Yuma just had fortunate positioning. not do anything. Okay, so I, yeah, Slimer. Slimer does have to kill the ninja. So be it. Bonk him. Lady Ilua! Shame. I do so hate to lose a piece, even a mere pawn. That's yeah, what you want to hear when you die. Oh, my objective is just to kick her ass. Okay. Well, that's always a lot easier. She just got to Okay, she's not going to move in. We'll come to her. It's it's fine.
Slip Rain. Heard of Slip Knot. That's no good. Two points of damage. Eighty two points of damage. Eighty five points of damage with disable. Yeah, I mean, I could have bum-rushed Ilyu, I guess. Okay, that's not... that... no, that's... we don't need that. No... Okay, good. That's what you get, stupid. Let us lance her. Dimensional Rift had, like, hit all three of my characters, or worse. I could see this battle going a lot differently. It seems that, uh, unlike what I would expect from a Final Fantasy game, where putting slow on a hasted character would nullify the haste, it seems in this game, putting slow on a hasted character just puts slow on them and removes the haste, which sucks. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, somebody's getting healed. I did that a little fast. I mean, he got a KO. He got two KOs. And I think he healed someone that was at full health. So I, I'm all right with that. Slimer finally gets a turn. Will he get the kill? He might. He might. Nope. Not quite. I don't think Withering Strike's gonna do anything. Nope. Uh, Dark Fist. Nope. Reflex. Oh, Cross Counter dodges? Bypasses there? That's pretty nice. It's looking pretty grim. I think you might say you're dead. Wow, that's 
quite a bit of XP. Hmm. I thought your fangs chipped and dull. I thought wrong. You and I are of a kind, Sid. Feral creatures that live by the blade alone. I was never as hungry for power as you, Ilua. Me? Hungry for power? You missed the point. The world needs people with power, be they many or few. So you're saying the world needs you? Of course. I am powerful, after all. And something else, Sid. You see, I understand that power I possess. I was chosen. The power could not deny me. Huh? Hey, what's going on? The words on the page, they're glowing. Oh, classic Final Fantasy Tactics shit going on here. It can't be. A grimoire? My journal, what the? Oh, she got knocked the fuck out. This, this is the place from my dream. And Ilya was nowhere to be seen. Quite a run-in she had with your book. Speaking of which, Luso, you don't happen to have your journal, do you? No, when she hit it with her sword, I let go. It's gone. Well, that's just great. What are we supposed to do now? We don't even know where we are. If I'd known this was going to be this kind of quest, I'd have stayed in Graston. One of those chiffon cakes down at the Gato Caldi Cafe sounds good about now. Quit your grousing. You're making me hungry. Forgive a girl for needing dis a distraction. This mist ties my stomach in knots. Ah, my apologies. I do sort of wonder what we're supposed to do now. Somehow this doesn't seem like the kind of place you can just walk home from. You there. Is that you, Luso? Huh? Lisa Ford. Luso, you must leave at once. This place is dangerous. Follow the path I shall make plain for you. Come back. Lisa Ford? Lisa Ford! Great. What? What the heck is that? The demon! You must not let it through! What? How? Lisa Ford? Eek! Why do these things always happen to me? Huh. You're not the only one here, princess. Stop it! Blind- Bind it! Bind it? You mean we have to defeat that thing? Us? You see anyone else around? Well, I really hope I get the rest of my team, otherwise this is gonna be rough. You put it that way. Wog. He turned into an orc from 40k, I guess. Luso. That's right, Luso Clemens is the name. Fighting impossibly huge demonic hands is my game. Go. Beat the Nukia. Nukia. It's pronounced Nukia. Opportunity commands are forbidden. Okay. All right, we do get our party. So there are other people around. <laughs> Thank God. Get Slimer in there real fast. Let's rock and roll. How hard could the Nukia be in the rift? Huh? 
Huh? What are those weird purple glowing things? Glowing? Is this some kind of weapon? Hey, maybe something like this could put that demon back in its place and keep it there. Well, that's a stretch. <sighs> I mean, the Nukia, it has an HP. If it had a question mark, then maybe I'd be more curious about the glowing thing. Fuck. Here we go. Aura Blast. Alright, doesn't seem so bad. Uh, let us haste myself. Slimer. MVP. Here we go now. Now they're all clumped together. Perfect. Apocalypse. Probably insta-death. 50% chance. Go fuck yourself. Alright, but he's got some... Things. I don't know what the generic name is in Final Fantasy. They go by a lot of names. Evil Eye, is that the generic? They don't seem too threatening. Okay, fine. How about a nice cross counter? Holy shit. Just go up and smack him, right? I mean, if we work together, we can do anything. Shoving some fire up this thing's ass. 40 damage, come on. Ugh. Everybody should just have Aura Blast. Oh, 100% chance. Well, that's not as good. That's not as good as for me. Oh, okay, it just reduces. Alright, you might actually have to hit me make that worthwhile. Well, I hit you. I mean, I kind of want to go see what's up with these purple things. Fa a fairy in the rift? Why? Why wouldn't you summon more like evil ghoul monsters or something? I don't know. What do I know? Well, that's not good. That could go south pretty quickly. Siphon... Siphonja? Okay. I mean... Not good, but... 
I got Slimer right in front of it, just wailing up. You really got me now. Now I'm screwed. The only problem I have with Moogle Knight is the outfit. It just looks like a little stuffed toy in pajamas or something. And I, when I think of Moogle Knight, like I expect some like badass fucking Final Fantasy armor. I think they really got shortchanged here. I don't like it. I think we got this one in the bag. White hole. Don't you be talking about white holes. Oh, I didn't get to see what the purple crystal did. Yeah, I think we're uh, ahead of the curve. Ah, you're all right. I am relieved. If you call battered, bruised, and scarred for life all right, then yes. So, what is this place? I've seen it before, but only in dreams. Oh, and you remember that magic journal of mine? There will be time for talk later. First, you must leave this place. How do we do that? To the east, you will find a large crystal. A gate crystal. Touch it, and you will come back. As I'm sure you are aware, this place is unnatural. It will not do to linger. I will be waiting beyond the gate. You don't have to tell me to get out of here twice. We move. here. This must be it. I'm going for it, okay? been through much. More than I could have imagined. Yeah. So, this stone created the judges? That's some powerful magic in there. Yes, but magic so powerful is not lightly used. In order to use a stone of such power, one must pay a commensurate price. And this stone... This has been forcefully reduced to its original state. If whoever did this released all the energies within, it must have drained them terribly. They wouldn't be able to cast for days. Apparently a risk worth taking to send Baron a risk worth taking to send Baron Beltry a message. Makes you wonder what the Baron did to deserve such attention. Never mind. Unraveling the mystery of that stone is enough for now. I've said my piece. Tell us about that place we were sent. 
Yes, yes, where to begin? The name, I suppose. You were in Jag Zelia. One of the many Jags in this world places where the mist is unstable indeed. Jag Zelia? Where have I heard that? Wait, I know. The Forbidden Keep. Quite a famous place in pirating circles. Something about a treasure there that, when held, would let one rule the world. Quite. A power of immense proportion sleeps in that land. You saw it, did you not? The rift and the demon that emerged from it. Jagged is known for rifts of this nature. Gateways to other worlds. They open now and then, sometimes letting in great evils. It was the power of the rifts that cast Zelia off on its own, a barren waste. No rift has been known to open full way, yet if one did, the effects would be catastrophic. The mages who knew of the rifts were wary of their power. They created magics to bind the rifts closed. Your magic tome is one such book. You mean, my journal? But Ilua, she cut it in two. Grimoire of the Rift. So is your book named. Well, that's where that title comes from. Well, that clears up a great many things, including what Ilua's been after. She wants to use the power that flows in through the Rift, side wager. And Baron Beltry must have known something about it. That's why he was attacked. She called us out because of the White Silver Magicite. But when she realized what Lusa was holding, she tried to destroy it. After all, that book has the power to seal the rifts. This may be true, yet that book is not something to be ruined by brand or blade. It is protected by a magic most potent, and the source of that magic's power is you, Lusa. Huh? Me? I'm the chosen hero in a video game? Yes, the words written upon its pages telling of your life. That proof of your being protects the grimoire. The power you and that book generate is far greater than you imagine. So this book, this grimoire of the rift thing, what am I supposed to do with it? What if I don't do the right thing and that rift opens? What will happen to this world? I mean, if this were just about me not being able to go home, that's one thing. But you're talking about a whole world. Think not of these things. Continue filling in the pages as you have thus far. Worry not, for you have that of which the grimoire has need. Did you not protect the book from Ilua's blade? I guess. Do as you will. Meet those you will. Live life, for life lived is the source of the book's power. Okay, I just... I'm just not sure I have what it takes to finish the thing. When the time comes, you will write the final words so will end your story in this world. I believe you know why. Another world still beyond your sight awaits you. The world I came from. The grimoire chose your life to be its wellspring. Live your life as you would. The book wants nothing more than this. Okay. Let's go back to town. I've got to check the bills up in the pub. And I don't know all I'd like to know about Kamja yet, either. Thank you for everything, Laser Ford. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Oh, boy. She's gonna wanna, like, come with me to the other world. <sighs> okay, let me just check to see. Alright. Well, we gotta stop at the pub then. I sort of need the pub if I grind. I need the pub if I grind. Kupo! Kupo! Her 
Birdie? What's up? Luso! Mm, nothing. I... Kupopo. Actually, there was this quest I found a bit intriguing, Kupo. What kind of quest? A salvage run in the town of Gaug. Salvage run? Clockwork City. I should explain, Kupo. This sort of salvaging's got nothing to do with ships. They're looking for old machineries in the depths of the Gaug undertown. Really old. Gaug's a Mughal town. Mughal craft's quite popular there, Kupo. Mughal machinists, as far as the eye can see. Lots of quirky old machineries, too. And the weirdest ones. They've been dumped beneath the town for centuries. Some of them use technology long since lost, Kupo. That's why every so often they do a survey, Kupo. See what they can dig up. Huh, sounds like fun. Of course, I'd be going to look for instruments, Kupo. Something I could use in a song for you, Luso. Just think, maybe I'll find an old instrument no one's ever seen before. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm sure Moogle Town's got lots to see you can't find anywhere else. That's not something I'm likely to pass up. I'll go run it by Sid. There's nothing else that needs doing. Let's go salvaging. Koopo! Okay, that seems sort of lackadaisical. Uh, after just coming out of the rift and finding them, like, chosen for this magical book. And... Yeah. I'm sure it'll be somehow relevant. Okay. I don't even know where Gaug is, but... We'll find it. Look at all these high rank stuff. Like, 40s now. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. I'm overpowered, but... I'll probably do more grinding. My name is Mang. Game you're watching has been Final Fantasy Tactics A2. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.